loves, welcome back to my channel. I am filming with my new vlogging camera. I hope it's okay. Let me know in the comments down below. I actually tried to use it over the weekend when we visited home, but we didn't really do much, so I didn't vlog a whole lot like I thought I would, which was actually really nice. It was a relaxing time with my parents, just sitting there catching up, talking and stuff. So that was, it was really nice to be home and Liam just loves being there. So it was a nice relaxing weekend. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just kind of like use this for the sit down video. Let me know how you like it. Um, I tried to kind of clear the background, so just excuse it, this is just kind of how it is here. So anyways, as you can tell from the title, we are doing a monthly favorites. So these are kind of like items that I got recently, I want to say. Um, some of this I got in like January, but I thought I'd include it anyways because we didn't do a January favorite, so it's okay. So anyways, I do have two beauty products stationary things here and fashion items and then I also want to share a few things that I've been really liking for my working out journey which I've been really 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 enjoying it's kind of like a morning routine for me that I actually really enjoy thankfully um so yeah let's just jump right in I'm also gonna mention a few um YouTube channels that I've been enjoying lately like you know i just watch it on a random like when i'm getting ready i put them in the background i watch the videos i'm also going to share a few of those um towards the end of the video so yeah everything will be listed and linked in the description box like usual so definitely check it out um but without further ado let's get started all right so i'm gonna start off with these things here so I, again i have two beauty products just two um because as I mentioned in the past, I am a creature of habit, and this one I've actually had for a while. I, I want to say the past year or so, but I've just kind of like rediscovered it because I decluttered my makeup, like all of it, and I've only kept what's like newer. You guys, it's so weird like and gross actually because I, there are some items in there that I'm like, I know this is like five years old and mm, I haven't used it in years, like it should just... It should just go so anyways I decluttered my makeup maybe I'll show you that in a video I don't know it's kind of embarrassing um I don't have a whole lot anymore but also I feel like I have I still have too much for a normal person I don't know anyways two items that I've been loving so I'll start with this one this is a Dior blush it's the rosy glow blush in the color rosewood I don't know if it's gonna focus or anything but there it is um did it did it do anything <laughs> i'm like hiding and it's <laughs> looking from my head okay so i love this blush and it's actually really similar to the laura mercier blush that i've been using for years but again i decluttered my makeup and i wanted to get rid of makeup that's just like i feel like it's so old you know like anything that's over like four years i'm like gotta go really it should be like a year or two right but i'm a hoarder okay i'm a hoarder so anyways um i was just like okay let me just get a new blush that's very similar let's try something new so i got this i think end of january and i actually really like it it's what i have on right now it's what i've been wearing this past month if you ever see me with makeup it's this one um so it's kind of replaced that laura mercier blush that i've had that's like i don't even know four or five years old um yeah and i really like it i really like the packaging of this as well now i don't know if it has the same amount of product in it but i do like that it's very slim um okay this one i've had for a little over a year i know that um i i remember buying this a while ago on uh, Sephora but this is a Dior Rouge Ultra Care Liquid and it's in the color 750 I think it's also called Rosewood um so this is what I've been wearing lately as well on my lips so if you see me with makeup and I have something on my lips and it's like colored like this it's, it's this what I like about this is that I literally just put a dab in the center because it looks like this is that gonna focus this is what it looks like okay and um, the color of this, hold on, sorry. So again, this is what's on my lips right now, but how I use this is literally I will put a dab 
right in the middle and just kind of like go like this and then I spread it with my fingers and it just leaves this color tint type of deal on my lips and it actually lasts all day long which I really like um I even put like lip balms over it because I do get really chapped lips um and this I will say doesn't give my lips moisture it just gives a color so that's that for me it's like a stain with no moisture so I always do put a lip balm on top but I feel like the color does stain my lips and it lasts all day so that's why I really like this color and I think this is the only one that I have now I ha I used to have other colors but I threw them out because they were older than this one this was like my last lip purchase or something um but yeah really like this been using it um all month okay those are the two beauty products <laughs> i feel like that was so long like how long see seven minutes oh my goodness all right next we have stationery now you guys know i love stationery and i can go on and on about it so for this video i'm gonna save you the trouble and just like talk about these guys so first up is this this is actually a pen pouch pen tool pouch this is what it looks like Hold on. so like this i haven't been using this i don't even know for the longest time but i pulled it out recently because i'm wanting more pink in my stuff right like i'm I'm like, okay, I am kind of over the whole like nude beige thing because that's kind of what I've been using and I'm like, I, I want a, my cute pen case back. So I pulled this out, started using it again and I started posting it on social media again and everyone's like freaking out. It's so cute and it's like, where is it from? <sighs> it's a limited edition from like two years ago. I'm so sorry it's not available right now, but they are thinking about restocking it so that's the good thing um so definitely follow wanderlust by tsl um follow them on instagram so you're notified when they do restock it um but yeah i love this because you can fit up to i want to say five pens right now i have four and then over here i just try i just don't really put anything in there except for like a pin as you can see and i have my little scissors and tweezers um just like good for on the go Next, I want to talk about our, our pens in general. I have said it before, I love my Platinum 3776 Century pens. Um, I actually have two right here. Um, I will show this one because this, is, this has the ink I want to talk about. So this right here is Hatsu Yuki. It is honestly my favorite pen like if i can just pick just one i would pick this one because it's just it's beautiful and the ink that's in here is actually a current favorite of mine as well i love the ink so much that i bought the full bottle and i didn't realize how big the bottle is so i i you know i got this pen and i saw the ink online i bought the sample I used the sample, which is good. I used it. This is the second refill for this pen with the same ink. And the ink is a Scribo Rosa Antico, which is what this big box is. Yes. It's almost the size of my head. It is really, really big. Oh my goodness. This ink is beautiful though. So I will, you know, insert a clip right now showing you the ink. It's beautiful. I again I have it in this pen and it writes beautifully I just really love the combination with the pen and ink it, it works really well for me so anyways loved it so much that I'm like I need a full bottle of it and what scared me and actually made me buy this bottle is that every time I would research the ink it would show like only one or two stores would have the bottle everywhere else is sold out and then right before i bought this i went to actually buy off of gold spot because it was in available in gold spot and vanessa but i think it was cheaper on gold spot i think it was around 30 dollars in gold spot vanessa had it for 40 sold out on gold spot and i'm like oh my god oh my god and literally the only other place that i could buy it at is vanessa that's a US retailer, everywhere else was in the UK and shipping was expensive and all of that. And I'm like, 
What if Vanessa sells out? I would be devastated. Like, so I just bought it. And here it is. It comes in this big box. So luxurious. And look at this bottle. Just... Do you see this? Do you see this bottle? I mean, I... I saw the photo, okay? I thought it would be like a wear and go bottle or like a palette or a Shizuku size. This is huge. I mean, granted, the, the ink is only from here to to there. So this, like the half of the, the bottle is just glass, um, which makes it really big. But still, this is, I didn't realize it was 90 ml. Girl. This is a lot of ink. This is probably the biggest bottle. It's so beautiful though that I'm actually going to keep the entire packaging. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. So I, I'm not angry about getting it. Just like, I'm very surprised on how big it is. So that is my favorite ink at the moment. And the pen, the pen and ink combination. I love it so much. I, I really think I'm going to keep re-inking that pen with the same ink i just i love the combination so that is that for stationery um that i kind of want to mention okay next is fashion i i want to give a shout out to this top i'm wearing this is actually from target so let me just it's kind of like a cropped you guys see, I don't know. It's focusing on my face. I'm so sorry. But like, I love this. This is like a good basic. Um, they have this in other colors. Uh, they have gray and black and I think green, like an olive green. Obviously, I love the beige. I did not see them have it in white. I wish they had it in white. But um, yeah, I have it in this color and gray and I, I love it. I wear it all the time. I kind of want to get another one of this. It's just so comfortable and it's like, you know, it's one of those long sleeve shirts that, you know, you don't get hot. Um, I get hot right away, so I don't like things that are like super thick, but I also didn't want anything too thin, you know. It's just like so good and it washes well. I have it in a size small because I did... I realize everything that I buy at Target shrinks. I just kind of know by now. So when I tried on the extra small, it fits really well. But I was like, I knew in my mind, I'm like, when I put that in the dryer, it will shrink. So I got the size small. I tried on the size small. It was a little bit loose, especially like around the arms area right here. It was really loose. But I'm like, I'm going to put it in the dryer and it will be perfect. And this is how it fits now. So keep that in mind. They do shrink. Two more things that I want to mention that's like fashion-y is this jacket. This is actually from Target as well. It's from the brand Wild Fable. And it's just like a puffer jacket. I obviously got it in pink. It's super cute. And when I purchased it, it was on sale. I think I paid around $20. It is like, has this balloonish oversized fit to it. I love it because you can wear whatever you want underneath and you'll have just enough room. I have this in the size extra small and since it is like the oversized fit, it's good. And I have washed this and it, you know, it washed well. So I really like that. Um, there's pockets on the sides, very deep pockets. My keys are in here actually. So that just kind of... I hope that shows you that things don't fall out of it. Um, but yeah, just check it out. Um, they have it in different colors as well, I believe. Um, but yeah, I got the, the pink one. I love it. Last but not the least, I cannot even tell you how many of this I have purchased in the past two months. Oh my gosh. So like I, this kind of style, like, like a sweatery cardigan. You can wear this unbuttoned or buttoned. I just love the style. This is from H&M. I also find, you know, this kind of style at like TJ Maxx and yeah, TJ Maxx. But 
I, I usually get them from H&M. Um, I'll link this one below because it's super cute and I just got this one recently and I love it. Love this. And this is like, you know, something you can wear in spring and summer. Again, you can wear it unbuttoned if you want as a cardigan. Um, but I do love wearing it like this. I'll buttoned up with like just trousers or jeans. Super cute. So that's kind of been like my thing lately. All right, last but not the least, I want to kind of touch base on working out because that's kind of been one of my favorite things at the moment, which I'm very thankful that I'm enjoying it. And I hope it sticks. <laughs> so I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Um, so I started working out again. Um, I think like I want to say mid-January. Let me check. I, I use my Apple Watch to track my workouts. That's the only time I wear my Apple Watch nowadays before I wear it every day. And I would be like, ooh, let me close all the rings. And it, But it was mostly just like to close the rings. It wasn't because I was trying to be healthy. A long time ago, yes, because I was on this fitness journey. I think it was like 2021 going into 2022. And then I fall off of it. And then here we are. So anyways... I started working out January 6th is when I started working out and yeah so we're going on we're almost two months in now and I'm very proud of the progress and again very happy that I'm enjoying it so I want to share I guess what I use because I do get questions so Apple Watch to track my my workouts and um, I use a smart scale, which I'll post right here. Also, I'll link it below. And that's like how I track my weight. And I'm a visual person. So seeing graphs and like seeing, I don't know. It's just like I, I know where I should be. I know where my body is comfortable, like where I'm feeling, feeling great. I know where that is. You know what I mean? And seeing it in this app. I like it better and I feel like I'm doing something I don't know so that's why I always keep track of my workouts I love seeing the graph and I also like seeing uh, my progress with my smart skill um, it just kind of like shows you a graph like this which I really like not that I'm like trying to totally drop so much weight it's just like I want to be consistent and I want to stay in like a certain area that where I feel comfortable in and you know I, it just gives me an idea too like oh this number okay that's where I I feel great so I'm like I feel great right now so I'm like I, okay this is the number where I'm starting to feel great you know so anyways I hope that makes sense um again I'll link the smart scale that I use down below yeah down below in the description box with the smart scale comes the app that I just kind of like showed you in a flash. Um, but yeah, that tracks all of your body fat and all of that, um, which is really good. You can set a goal on there too if you want. Um, but yeah, it just tracks your weight per month, per week, what have you. And you can compare to per month. You can do little things on there. So definitely check it out. And that scale is super cheap. Um, on top of that, I switch from my stepper to an elliptical because I'm having knee issues because I am 33 and um, yeah I, I've just been doing stair steppers for the longest time and this year I'm like okay I'm having issues with my knees this is really bothering me and um, one of you um, Lynn actually recommended hey you should check out um, ellipticals it'll be better on your knees so I did and thankfully, I already had an elliptical down in the basement. So I had Tom bring that up, switch out my machines. And now I've been doing the elliptical and it has been helping so much. I actually, I didn't like the elliptical at first. But now I actually really love it because um, I'm also kind of like working out my arms in a way. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying the elliptical and I just have you know, kind of like a basic elliptical. I've had mine for years since our old house. So it's kind of old, but it does the job. 
Um, so I'll link it below. I think we did buy it on Amazon. It's one of those that like folds really small. It's very compact. Um, so yeah, that's all I've been doing. To be honest, I, I'm not on any diet whatsoever. I eat what I want. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've always been kind of like, you know, pretty good with how we eat. We don't really eat unhealthy things. We don't really snack. There's barely any snacks in our house. But yeah, I'm just letting you know, I'm not on any diets. I just try to get my workout in. Um, when I first started, I was just doing um, 25 minutes. And then after two weeks, I bumped it up to 30 minutes. And then sometimes in that, you know, in those times where I'm like, okay, 30 minutes, like if I'm still feeling like I can keep going, I will keep going, you know? So anyways, I gave, I always kind of give myself a few weeks of that. And then now I'm at 40 minutes. But even though I'm at 40 minutes with my, what's it called? Like here, I'll show you. So like for exercising, it'll say right here, 40 minutes. That's like kind of my goal. Um, even though that says 40 minutes, I've been doing 50 minutes. So I think next month I'm going to switch that goal up to 60 minutes if that makes sense it just kind of like keeps you going and yeah I really have been enjoying it um and one thing I noticed since I started working out is I am not as sluggish I was to a point where you know like where your body just feels heavy so kind of when I got to that point I'm like all right something needs to change I don't feel great about myself I don't not even with that, but you also don't feel like you look great, you know, because you're seeing all these changes. So I'm just like, all right, let's do this. So that's kind of what started this whole thing is just because I was really starting to feel sluggish around Christmas time. Okay, so I think that wraps up my favorites video. I hope this isn't too long. I'm looking at my camera and we're at 30 minutes and oh my goodness, did I really blab on for that long? I'm gonna try to cut this and make it super short, as much as possible at least. Um, but yeah, that's my monthly favorites. Again, I will list all of my favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna put like 10 of them down below in the description box, check them out. I'll also post all the links into the comments and I will pin it so you can just like click 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 um but yeah there's a few that I really think you guys should check out I've been really enjoying watching stationary of course stationary things on YouTube so there's Lau from Kenshin Crafts there's Lori from Time with Tata um there's also Jeffrey um there's also Corey, there's Kika Crafts, like there's so many cool stationary people on here, you guys. Um, I love watching stationary videos. It's just like really been my thing. And I know I don't comment, but I watch, I see you. Um, I usually watch YouTube videos while I'm working out and getting ready. So I can't like physically like comment all the time. So I apologize, my YouTube friends. I apologize. I don't comment all the time. But when I do comment, you know, that's probably when I'm literally in bed and I can watch and enjoy it like fully. You know what I mean? But yeah, usually I'm like running around just like listening to you in the background and like sometimes looking at it. Um, so yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't leave as much comments as I should. But don't worry, I am here to give you views. <laughs> so anyways, that is it. Um, I hope you guys check them out. Check out some of these products. Let me know what you have been loving for the past month down in the comments down below. If there's any products that you recommend to me, I'm all ears. I love hearing and, you know, checking out what you guys recommend all the time. So anyways, all right. Thanks all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts if you want to see more like this, I guess. And I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye!